Meet the Husky Lens, an easy to use AI camera that can recognize faces, track objects, read QR codes and so much more. I got this from DF Robot last year and for a while I wasn't quite sure what to make with it but now I got the perfect idea, a smart security lock system. It will unlock by recognizing faces and even send a notification to a smartphone along with the info about who opened it. Pretty cool right? To build this project we also need a microcontroller, I'm using the Vmos D1 Mini. It's affordable and perfect for the job. So let's hook it up real quick. Alright, the connections are done. Since we are building a lock system, we'll need to add this solenoid lock. But here's the thing, we can't connect it directly to the microcontroller because it draws a lot more power. That's where MOSFET module comes in. It's super easy to make. All you need is an IRF550N MOSFET and 10K resistor. Now the wiring gets a bit more complex since the solenoid runs on 12V while the microcontroller and husky lens requires 5V. So to manage all that properly, we are adding a powerful 5V regulator to the setup. Here is the circuit diagram to make things clearer. The connections are set, now it's time to dive into the code. But before we upload anything, there are two quick setup steps we need to take care of. Step 1. Register your face with Husky Lens. Don't worry, it's super simple. Navigate to the face recognition mode. Now point the camera at your face and tap learn face. When your face is successfully registered, the device will display face ID 1 and you are good to go. Step 2. Create a bot on telegram for notifications. Open telegram and search for bot father. I already joined this bot, start chat and click on the new bot. Follow the prompts to name your bot and choose a username, it must be end with bot. Once done, you will receive a bot token, copy and save it will need it for the next step. Now it's time to get the chat id. Open any browser and head over to the following url. Just make sure you have entered your bot token correctly, if there is a mistake you will get an error instead of results. Once that's done, go back to your bot chat on telegram and send any message, it can be anything. Now return to the browser and refresh the page. If everything set up properly, you will see your bot is working and more importantly, you will find your chat id there. Now finally, it's time to upload the codes. Here are the codes we'll be working with, but before we hit upload, there are a few details we need to fill in. First, enter your Wi-Fi credentials and then add your bot token and chat id. Once that's done, go ahead and upload the code to your board. The code is uploaded, now let's check the serial monitor to see if everything working properly. I'm going to point the camera toward my face. It should recognize the face, unlock the system and send a notification to my smartphone. And it worked exactly as expected. Pretty cool right? We can't leave all these components exposed like this. We need a proper housing to keep everything secure. I already designed one but before we move further, let's talk about today's sponsor LTM. If you are into electronics and PCB design like me, you have probably heard of LTM Designer. It's one of the most powerful tool out there for bringing your ideas to life. From schematics to layout, it's got everything you need with a super intuitive workflow. But what really sets it apart is LTM 365. It moves your entire design process to the cloud so you can access your project from anywhere, collaborate with your team in real time and even manage components without ever leaving the platform. It lets you comment on specific part of the design and sync changes in real time with your team or manufacturer. It's like having a smarter, more connected workflow for your electronics. Check out the link in the description to start your free trial and 25% off. Alright, back to the project. Here's the housing design. Let's slice it and get it printed. The print came out great. Now let's assemble everything and install the electronics inside.
Alright guys, the project is finally complete and it looks pretty awesome. These wires here will connect to the solenoid and these holes are for mounting it securely to the door using screws. Once they are done, we will cover it up with this piece for a clean finish. Now let's attach the solenoid, power it up and watch it in action. We have to wait it for 10 to 20 seconds because the microcontroller will take some time to connect to the Wi-Fi. Ok now in action. As you can see as soon as I pointed it toward my face, it instantly recognizes and opens the lock and sends notification to the phone. Pretty cool. In this demo, the one on the right is registered and the one on the left is not. As you can see, when I show the unregistered face, the lock stays closed. But the moment I show the registered face, the lock instantly unlocks and sends a notification with ID 2. You can register as many faces as you want and each one will trigger a unique notification based on the order they were added. And that's it for this video. Let me know how it turns out. You can use it any way you want. I don't have to tell you. If you have any question or suggestions, drop a comment, like, subscribe and stay tuned for more DIY fun. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Until then, bye bye.